Hey, church family, it's Casey and I here. We're coming to talk to you about what it looks like to have church at home. So last week was our first experience with all of this, and we want to share some resources with you and some of the experiences that we had last week while we had to engage at home. So the first one is, is the Jesus Storybook Bible. As we're engaging with students as well as really families, we want to look and see if there's a story here that matches the sermon title. Now, last week it was great because it had one that lined up perfectly. It was on prayer, and so we were able to open this up, read it with our children, and had a blast doing it. Now, another thing we want to do is engage with them as well. Give them a notepad. I, I believe that you'll be surprised about what they'll write down and take notes with. Now, my two-year-old, we just had fun drawing together while listening to Pastor Dale preach, as well as engaging in worship. So speaking of worship, how do we engage more in worship during this time? Yeah, so one of the things I think you can do, just grab a phone, play a song. Uh, my family and I did this in the kitchen one night. We just danced it out, had a good time, played a second song, it was a little slower, sang to it. And it was a great time of worship that wasn't even on a Sunday. And so that was just a great time. Another time is choose a night and uh, just connect everything to your family and what's going on, what Pastor Dale's preaching about. Uh, we offer this. It's called a Homefront Weekly. gives you a couple of things you can do to connect as a family, discuss as a family, uh, a memory verse to learn during the week, and then speak a blessing over your children, parents. It would be a powerful moment of time of worship together. But also, maybe there's some things we could be doing to pray as a family. Casey, I think you're bringing a great idea to here. So the thing that we want to do is we actually are in the middle of 40 days of prayer. So you get a text message or an email every morning at 8 a.m. So what better time than now is it to bring your kids into your prayer life? So we have a scripture that we can begin to, to read and to memorize as well as praying through the theme of what that day looks like. Mm -hmm. The second thing is, is we need to be praying for the nation leaders that we have. And they're making some of the toughest decisions they've made over the past years when it comes to, and so we want to pray for their wisdom and guidance and direction on where we're heading as a country and what decisions need to be made. But don't forget, during this time where we're not able to meet face-to-face, -face, let's have fun together. So Casey, let's have some fun. Let's do it. Let's play. Jesus is alive.